Hi everyone! Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today for day 27 of Scraptember and Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. Today's sketch is in the upper left hand corner, and the Scraptember prompt for today is Long Title. Today I'm making a birthday layout, and I'm using my favorite birthday collection, which is the Maggie Holmes Confetti Collection. This is an older collection, but it seems that every time I make a birthday layout lately, I'm reaching for these papers and embellishments. I like the way it's a very bright, cheery collection. It has a lot of beautiful colors in it, but it also has some muted colors. There's just something about this collection that makes me love to work with it. I started off the layout by choosing a piece of pattern paper, and then I cut it in half diagonally. I drew a line on that diagonal so that I would know where to put the mixed media. I'm adding some color to the background using the packaging technique. The paper is a heavyweight piece of smooth white cardstock and I've already coated it with some Liquitex white gesso. And the sprays that I'm using are both Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists and Art Anthology sprays. I started with the Art Anthology sprays. I used Siesta Key and Timeless and I also use Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists in Cherry and Lime Luster. And I just pull these colors out of the papers that are in the collection. And my challenge here is to make the mixed media look colorful and bright, but not overpower the pattern paper. So I decided that I would just put down the color and later on, if it's too bright and too overpowering, I'll just dull it down with some gesso. In this layout, there'll be a little bit of a separation between the pattern paper and the background because of the photos and all the embellishments. So I'll have to see how that all works once I have everything together. I always like to add more than one layer of each color. I just don't think that there is any way to get the same depth of color with just one layer. And I always use my heat tool and dry each different color before I put a new color onto the layout so that the colors don't mix together. Now I'm adding the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and I tried it out on the lower portion of the page that will be covered by the pattern paper just to make sure that the color went well with the paper. The paper has both pink and salmon in it so I decided to go with the pink. I thought it went well with the turquoise and the yellow. Now I'm using one of my favorite techniques. I sprinkle a little bit of water over the top of the sprays and then I use a paper towel and I remove the water and that lifts up a little bit of the color and it makes a cool effect that I really love. I think I do it every time I use sprays in the background. I'm happy with the background. I don't think the color is too overpowering for the piece of pattern paper and I didn't mention my photos. I'm using three photos of my daughter Danielle on her 20th birthday and she was opening some presents. It actually wasn't her birthday. It was a few days earlier, but she was away at college and she came home on the closest weekend to her birthday. And one of her presents was a bunch of film for her Polaroid camera and she really loved taking pictures with that. So she was very excited. I'm adding some modeling paste to the background. I took some modeling paste made by the Crafters Workshop and I mixed it together with some white acrylic paint just to make the color a little bit whiter. And I'm using a stencil that I had in my stash. It looks like sprinkles. So I thought that that would be a good addition to this birthday layout. I'm putting the modeling paste on the large area of color. Here I dried the modeling paste that I already put down because I knew that the stencil would overlap onto wet areas. So I made sure they were dry before I put the stencil back on top again. I add a little bit more modeling paste in a few more areas that I missed. And I really love the texture that this added to the background. And I feel that the modeling paste really looks like it's in the shape of sprinkles. So now I'm going to start adding the pattern paper to the background. I have that diagonal piece that I cut out. And I also have a border strip that I cut out of another piece of pattern paper. I ink the edges of the paper with some black soot distress oxide. 
I put this strip of paper down because I like the idea of there being a border that was darker than both the pattern paper and the background to separate the two areas. When I had the pattern paper layered over the mixed media background, I was thinking that I should add some black splatters because there's some black in the collection. So I went back in with some watered down black acrylic paint and I added some black splatters to the background and there was one really big one, but as you may know, it's very simple to fix that when there's gesso on the background. I cleaned it up and then I added a little bit more spray on top of it. And once the spray dries, I add some droplets of water on top of that area and in that way it'll match the rest of the background. So now that I have finally completed the mixed media, I'm going to attach that pattern paper to the background paper. And I already put some black soot distress oxide on the diagonal portion of the pattern paper, but I wanted to add some to the edges as well. You can see that I popped up my center photo on some foam, but the other two photos are going to lay flat against the layout. I use my T-square to make sure that that center photo is level. And now I'm going to start embellishing the layout. Some of the embellishments are from the Confetti Ephemera pack, and some of them are from this Recollections set of stickers. I also have a set of Momenta stickers that I'm going to use a few items from as well. I feel that the recollection stickers match perfectly with this collection. Really, really perfectly, the colors seem to be the same. So I found this big bunch of balloons, so I put that in the upper right-hand corner, and I'm just trying to place the strings behind the photo and get that bow arranged on top of the photo. There was a title that said Your Day, but I just thought it was too big, so I didn't use that. I like the pinwheel that's on the sticker sheet and this party hat. But then I thought that the pinwheel looked a little bit too big on the layout, so I replaced it with this rosette. And now I'm choosing from those Momenta stickers. I used a star with a jewel on the lower part of the layout, and then I was thinking that this word celebrate would look really nice on the layout, but I was going to have to change the color because otherwise it wouldn't show up. So I'm using some black soot Distress Oxide again and a dauber, and that helps the title to stand out. So I place it in the lower right-hand corner, the same as in the sketch. On the confetti chipboard sheet, there were these really cute birds, and I decided to layer them in, one in each of the clusters. I put a black and white chipboard heart next to the title, and in the area over the center photo, I add some chipboard phrases. One says, so much fun. One says, big smile and one says, happy day. I also wanna extend the title because the September prompt is long title. So I was thinking that I could add that word today. So it says celebrate today. And I was thinking that wasn't quite long enough. So I just put that on hold and I started working on some photo corners. I use different colors on each of the photos. The photo corners on the photo on the left are a light blue color. The center photos have turquoise photo corners, and the photo on the right has some salmon photo corners. I chose the darkest color for the center photo so that the most attention would be drawn to the center photo. I use the black soot distress oxide to ink the edges of all the photo corners and also this ephemera piece. And I like using the black to ink edges of things. I like the way it creates a lot of contrast on the layout so that each of the elements is clear and you can your eye can read everything on the page easily. There's a lot of color on the background, but I wanted to add a different texture. So I'm adding some pearls to the photo corner, something that I love to do on most of my layouts. And in addition to putting them on the photo corners, I'm also adding just a couple on some of the embellishments. I'm using yellow and pink and blue, the same colors that I use for the mixed media in the background. I used to use enamel dots on every single layout, almost without exception, but more recently I've been using pearls. And I think the reason for that is that pearls tend to come in smaller sizes than the enamel dots and sometimes in more sizes. And as an added bonus, I found that they're much less expensive as well. You get a lot more for your money with the pearls. Here I move the pearls a little bit further away from the photos. 
And now I'm back to my title. I want to extend it a little bit to meet the scrap timber prompt. So I add these chipboard numbers that say 20. And now it says celebrate 20 today. Off camera, I stitched all around the outside of the layout and also along the diagonal. And that completes the layout. And here are some close ups. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. I hope that you got some ideas from it or that you just enjoyed watching it. Please take a look in the description box. As always, there's a list of all the scrapbookers who are following along and there are links to their channels and their Instagram accounts. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.